All right. Wait, what? Okay, so I have a new laptop. Before we uh, check it out, let's see some of the upgrades it brings. Hello. So then, as you can see on screen, there is my room and me uh, and my phone uh, because this is a very reflective screen compared to my old one. Now I'm going to give you some of the upgrades that this new laptop brings. My old laptop has an Intel Center on over 3350, whereas my new one has an N4020, which is obviously an upgrade. Instead of Intel HD graphics, I have Intel Ultra HD graphics. On my old laptop, I have 2GB of DDR3 memory, but on my new laptop, 4GB of DDR4. So, quicker memory and two times more of it. This has a 32GB EMMC drive and the new one has a 64GB EMMC drive, so I will actually be able to update Windows and I might actually be able to store something on this new one. Now before we start it up, I'm going to plug it in. It comes in two parts, you've got the plug to this bit, but don't be fooled, this isn't the charger. Because that plugs into the power brick, which then plugs into the laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Oh. That was a bit of a tight squeeze there, but I guess it's good to have a tight squeeze for safety reasons. Because this laptop's so much bigger than my old one, if I want to record it, I have to face it sideways on my desk. And also my room's in the middle of getting painted blue. So yeah, I think it's finally time to power it on. Hang on, the power light is over here. Okay, it's blue. I'm not going to plug anything into it yet, but I'm going to be plugging in a USB drive and a mouse, but only once it's all set up. Okay, it says just a moment. So we're going to go through the Windows setup process. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. This is so much different from when I set a up my old... sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Okay then Cortana, um... Use your voice or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Alright, uh... Okay. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control and Enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator. Okay. Okay, enough oh. intro. Let's dig in. I was about to talk. Anyway, what I was about to say Your is... Your region is set to United Kingdom. Is that correct? Yes. It just listens to me, okay. Your keyboard is set to United Kingdom. Would you like to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Now, let's get you connected to a network. That is the wrong network! That way, you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. Oh, you're that? so First funny. First one on the list. Would you like to use that one? No. No. Okay, how about this next one on the list? No. I'll stop guessing now. Go ahead and select the one you'd like to use. I need that one. Connect automatically. Now, type your credentials. Ugh! Oh, it feels like a nice keyboard. It may not look different to my old one, but it feels a bit Mission different. accomplished. You're all linked up. Woo! We, we did it. We, we did it. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> we connected to the internet. Now we have some important setting up to do. Okay. Now let's see what's new from Windows. Oh, fun! Updates! Everyone loves updates! I actually couldn't update my old laptop because it had uh, so little storage, so I had to stick with a version of Windows from 2017. Next up, the legal stuff. 
In short, you'll need to select Accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. Who doesn't want no Windows? I mean, I guess people who want Linux or something else. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. Okay, so I'm just typing in my Microsoft account email in and enter the, I'm going to enter the password for my Microsoft account. Now I see that it's kind of the, the screen's kind of playing with the camera and you can see green. That green is not there. The green is not there on the actual screen. I, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Want to set up a pin? Uh, sure, I will create a pin. Because, you know, I don't want someone signing into my laptop if I don't want them to, you know? Oh yeah, I've got to mention this! I got this for my birthday! Uh, by the time this is uploaded, my birthday was a couple days ago, probably. Want to set up a pin? We weren't able to set up your pin. How could you not set up a pin? Okay, let's try again. Anyway, yeah, so my birthday was on the 30th of May. Now we get to set up a pin. Lego Minecraft torch. Away! Let's set things up the way you like them. First, choose if you want to use your voice to talk with me and other apps on this device. Sure, why not? Now, choose if you want to let Microsoft and other apps use your location to help you with directions, weather and more. This is just gonna be like, like, oh, do you want to allow your stuff to do this and this and this? So I'll just, uh, I'll speed run through this. <laughs> Um, what did it say there? You already had Microsoft 365 as part of your device. So let's set it up. Yes! 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 Okay, I have to talk properly. Hey look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Sure. Your device manufacturer would like your contact details to send you updates and helpful info. Okay, okay that's a lot of countries. United Kingdom. Okay, cool. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. I assure you. Hi! Getting everything ready for you. Almost there! Oh! Look at that! Okay. Windows looks so much different now. Okay, uh, maybe later. I don't want to go straight onto Microsoft Edge. Okay? Uh, let's launch. Oh, here we go. Oh, whoa! Okay. 
that was quick. So to finish installing Chrome, you need to switch out of S mode. What's S, S mode? mode. <laughs> Open store. On Windows 10 PC, go to the switch out of S mode page in the Microsoft store. Okay. You're set, you switch out of S mode and you can install it on outside the Microsoft Store. Do I not even need a restart? After we install Chrome, I think the final test that we should do is does Friday Night Funkin' work. So let's go ahead and plug my USB stick in. I'll pop up an iCard in the corner. I got this USB stick about half a year ago. Uh, and transferred all my files to it. Luckily this thing has a USB 3.0 port. Well that works. Let's turn this down though. Go ahead and turn that down. Alright, so this is all normal so far. Now, I only have up to week six. So let's just do tutorial on normal. Three, two, no way. It works! Dude! Left, right. Left, right. Beep, uh, beep. Uh, this is my first time playing Friday Night Oh my god! So there's a little showcase of Friday Night Funkin' for you. And there we go, Friday Night Funkin' works. It is a present! It's a present! It's a present! Oh, thanks! Just to make sure you get it, it's my birthday as I'm recording this. So then guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please do like and subscribe. If you're new, hit the bell if you don't want to miss any videos. And uh, I'm going to be off to uh, play some Friday Night Funkin'. See ya!